What's going on, Pickles? This is Mark over at Chicago Music Exchange. I'm here with Mr. Ryan Ratajski of Fuzz Roche's Pedals. Uh, as you all know, it's a really awesome family operation. He does They do really wonderful circuits. Uh, he designs the circuits, his, uh, his wife and kids, mostly his wife does the artwork, if mm -hmm. I'm not mistaken. Uh, and then we're, today we're going to be talking about a, a new product uh, called the Blast Furnace. So tell, tell us, just give us the lowdown, like how it came to be and... So, uh, we have friends in a company called Lehigh Mining and Navigation, and they wanted to make a pedal. They do marketing and PR, and so when we talked together, they were really interested in like a shoegaze sound. So when I think shoegaze, I think fuzz, gated fuzz, reverb, delay. So we put all of those things in one, one simple box. Like fuzz and echo, they go together like peas and carrots, and beans and cornbread, and I got mostly food references because I grew up fat. Cheese steak and cheese. See, let's talk about the uh, the, the circuit. Like, what's uh, what's what's going on with this? Yeah. So, I mean, on the fuzz side, we've got an original fuzz. Um, we're trying to get a way of modeling things after you know muffs and rats and things like that. So, what better way than doing something with another company than to make an original fuzz? So, we got a TLO74 chip that we've just blown out. And when it's in the up position. It's in a scooped mode, which you can alter with a trim pot inside mm. if you want it to be more trebly or more bassy. Um, and then when it's in the down position, it's wide open, no tone tampering whatsoever. Mm. So scooped and heavy, loud and brash. Is there is there any like words of advice um, like when operating those? Like is is, is one for a better like type of pickup? Uh, is better type of amp like you know smack in the front of the, of the amp? Like I mean, if you want to, if if you're using the open setting, which is the down position you can blow up your amp. You, you can push so much volume into that. Um, in the scoop position, you know, you're gonna hit unity around here, but um, it's still gonna sound good and natural. You'll still feel your guitar or your bass. Um, but I would say for people starting with this, start in the up position and then turn your volume down because otherwise you're gonna make Because it. of that big signal jump when it's in the down, the open position. Yes. Um, and Unity gains probably somewhere like right around here. Yeah, yeah. It's, sh it's real short. You're really not messing around with that. No. no. <laughs> yeah, you, you know. I mean, there's, you have a lot, of, a huge roster of artists who use your pedals, and mm -hmm. I'm sure they're they're geeking out over this sort of thing. And it's, a lot of people no are asking for it, and we couldn't work. be happier. Like, yeah, could be happy to do this. So, what's the other side? What's going on with that? So the delay, the delay can be used with or without the fuzz. So you get this extra utility with this. We made it nice and simple. A lot of other pedals have six, seven knobs and things. Want to make it nice and simple for you. So when you hold this down, delay is on. When you take it off, delay is off. So it's momentary, like yep. you said. Okay, and cool. When, so, so with the fuzz off, you can get in and just play that quick riff with the delay on and just be out of it rather than having to be click on, click off, tap dance, whatever, on and off. And uh, repeats are external, so all the way from oscillation down through single repeat. And then you can get in, you can delay, you can change the delay time too. On the internal trim yes. pot. Okay. Yeah. Cool. So you can go, right now we've got it set for a really short delay. Mm -hmm. Kind of slap backy. Yeah. Okay. So now you can go nice and big and long. That's awesome, man. Yeah. That's, well, that's really exciting. I can't wait to jump into this. Um, so real quick, uh, we're going to be running this through the, uh, the new Tyrant Head. It is for sale, finally. It's a new one. It's 150 watts. You can use it on bass. You can use it on guitar. Fantastic sound. I'm going to run through it. Joel's going to run through it, of course. And then uh, this, uh, this guitar cab, it's a single 15 by 12. Uh, and of course, I mean, just it sounds massive in, in total tyrant fashion. And by the way, uh, when are you planning on releasing this this beast? 420, bro. 420. 420. For real? Yeah. Happy holidays, bro. 420.